for this video, we're going to be looking at a few topics. We're going to be looking at how to apply a document theme, a style set, inserting watermarks, as well as inserting a cover page. So for this, we're going to be looking through a few of these different tabs here. So the first one we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at applying document themes as well as document style sets. For this, we go to our design tab. And the area we're going to be looking at is this theme bar as well as this section here. These are our style sets, our themes. And then in this section, we can also look at different colors we can choose from, paragraph spacing effects. So if we click on the themes drop down, we'll have a few themes to choose from over here. Okay, as you can see, each theme has a different name. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use the slice theme. All right. As you can see from where we were, this block here, the color set has changed. And then we can choose a built-in title section. So if we move our mouse over each section, each section comes up with a different name. So let us have a look here. Let's go for this option here, shaded. All right. I've chosen the shaded option. Well, nothing's actually changed. If we go to our home tab, the styles over here have changed. Those are our big differences when we come to applying themes as well as style sets. In this video, I also said we'll look at watermarks. So a watermark is useful when you want to keep work that belongs to you, you, or instead of saying to somebody that something is confidential or private, a watermark goes on the back of the page to state this for you. So to do this, we go to our design tab and over here, back uh, page background, we select our watermark. And we have two types. We've got confidential one and two. One goes diagonally across the page and the other one is horizontal. And we've got do not copy one and two. We can also have, uh, sorry, we've also got the urgent options or we can customize our own watermark. So if we come down here to custom watermark, click on that. This dialog box will appear, so you can choose no watermark. If we have a picture that we want to use, we can use that. Or we can select our own text. And under ASAP, we can write what we want. We can choose the font, we can choose the size, we can choose the color, whether we want it diagonally or horizontally. So for this video, let's type something here. Word document, we can go through, we can change the font the size and the color. So if we click OK, there we go. There's our watermark inserted very, very light. All right, and the last thing we'll be looking at is inserting a cover page. So for a cover page, we go to our Insert tab. Over here, this drop down is a cover page. So the cover page will automatically, when you select it, will automatically be added to the front of your document. So let us choose, um, yeah, integral. Okay, there we go. Integral has been added to our document and that there is our cover page that's been added. And as you can see from earlier when we changed the property themes, there we go, our author has been changed to Little Johnny. And if you gave your document a subtitle or a course title, all this information will have been added on to your cover page automatically.